Hey everybody, so uh, in this video I'm going to be replacing this corroded uh, front brazon or should you say rivet on front derailleur hanger. Uh, so basically what happened here was the bike, you know, a lot of trainer miles, just sweat got up under there and just corroded the aluminum and the adhesive and eventually just, you know, hit a hard shift and that thing's just going to break right off of there. So. Uh, you know, that is one of the things if you are riding indoors on a trainer, you know, it's it will it's corrosive and it will eat stuff like this up. So it's always good to clean your bike often. Um, anyway, pulled the cranks out and I just stuck a rag through here to catch these because we got to remove these little the old rivets. So they'll just drop straight in easy to remove. So uh, this is the replacement kit <coughs> um, that the uh, customer had just ordered these so get a little stainless steel rivets pretty pretty strong set up there and then uh, so the tools and things that I used was my little Dewalt rivet gun um, you know it's got different sizes there to match the little shaft size on the rivet shaft um, so we got some two-part <clears throat> epoxy adhesive uh, there's several different brands of this but this is something you definitely want to use and then I've got just my little Dremel tool with a little cutoff wheel got some little punches thin punches and a hammer probably too big of a hammer for this application but it got the job done so anyway what you're gonna do you know I'm just the, obviously the motors not running on this but I'm just kinda showing that I like to just kinda wash back and forth over the flange of the Dremel till it gets just narrow enough or small enough to where you can just hit the center and it just knocks the the remaining part of the uh, rivet inside of the frame <clears throat> kind of a similar deal when you're removing you know replacing riv nuts the little water bottle um, mounts the threaded inserts for the water bottle cage kind of the same deal so yeah I'm basically just going you know up and uh, back and forth you just want to be real gentle you know I know some people like to put tape around it if you feel like you're not steady enough and you're not quite confident enough you know then you may put a little bit of tape you know put some masking tape over it and then just kind of rub out the part where the rivet sticks out and you can kind of maybe avoid scratching the frame um, but you want to just you know kind of take your time don't let it get too hot if at all possible and then once it's thin enough it'll just you hit center and it'll just knock it right off into the frame there so um, just repeated the process with the other two there and that's what they look like once they pop out so that's the you know the part of the rivet that it's going to compress and it ends up looking like you know these guys or you can't see the flange so you can see a mangled one there that that's the part that I've got really thin or you know breaks off really easy if it's thin enough so uh, at this point, you got them all out, just clean the area with some isopropyl or sand it if there's any epoxy residue sticking up. I mean, this one, the sweat had got under the epoxy, and so it was pretty pretty flush. I just cleaned it up and uh, got a good area for this to the, the epoxy to stick to. So uh, I'm just using a Q-tip. I didn't mean I mentioned the Q-tip for a tool, but got a little Q-tip here and just mixing the two together till it forms one solid color there some of these are clear or some you know this particular one kind of forms a gray color so um, you know you don't you want to get decent coverage you don't want to blob it up too much because it is as you compress it on there when the rivets squeeze tight it's going to squeeze a little bit of that excess um, epoxy out from the side so anyway what I like to do is just put all the rivets in place um, just kind of get them sitting there and it'll hold that way it'll hold the uh, kind of holds the hanger in place keeps it in the right spot for when you do the next one uh, but yeah you just push your gun on there and <clears throat> you know take it all the way in and um, a lot of rivets are aluminum these ones are stainless steel so it is really it takes takes some a little bit of muscle to get that thing to pop through and so yeah, pop that one in and just repeating the process here on the other two. Kind of a tight squeeze on the front one, but, you know, it worked out fine. So, uh, 
yeah, got those guys on, and you know, once we had it all on, there's a little bit of uh, you can, you know, there's a little bit of excess that kind of squeezed out through the sides, but um, yeah, once you just you know get all that stuff cleaned up, wipe all that excess off while it's still wet, and that's basically it. It's good to go at this point. So um, yeah, like it successfully smashed all the rivets in there nice and tight and uh, so yeah that's basically what's involved when you have to replace one of these riveted on hangers um, seen them on several different bikes even currently so anyway yeah that's going to do it for this video thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time